this video I want to teach you how to send out a warm mail position that has been advertised maybe on social media or on um, newspaper and you're interested now I'm scrolling I want to use this as a case study I am just scrolling around um, and I find this position and this position is advertised by the professor who is um, seeking for PhD candidates in his lab. First I want to go through uh, what he has posted to be sure that it is in my um, research area. So I open up the um, advert flyer and I look up all that is required an experience, uh, 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 ability in our language or Python or MATLAB, experience with field work, and um, all of that. Now, is is asking if I'm interested. I should send an email to this with a subject PhD position, and I should attach my CV and um, briefly explain uh, my interest in the body of the email. Now, this kind of email is what I refer to as warm mail, the opposite of a cold mail. In a cold mail, you're not sure if the professor has um, vacancy, if he, he wants you, if he um, is interested in taking any student in his research group or laboratory. But in a warm mail, which I would you also would call cover letter or letter of interest, the professor has announced that he or she has a position and he or she is looking for candidates for a fully funded position. And so if I wanted to win this position, what would I do next? I have seen what Ollie have stated and I go out, go back somewhere there and I would want to look up his person because in sending him a mail, I must show that I understand what he is doing in that lab. So I would um, collect his name, I would copy his name, I will go to Google and um, search him out. I'll go to Google and when Google opens up, Google opens up, I would paste his name and just search. So a number of persons with uh, similar names would come up, but I was careful to note his picture. This is him. So I this is him on Twitter and uh, this is him on Google Scholar, Colorado State University. So I I'll click on that. And I want to go to Google Scholar to get to see some of his research works. And these are um, plenty of his work. And um, this particular work resonates with my interest. I really want to know how I was um, able to create this prediction algorithm um, using all the things he has put together here so if i like i could look into the publication a little to know a few things about it and i want to copy that the title of that publication so i copy out the title of that publication now i i have three things at the moment i have one that he has made um a advert two i have his name three i have his um um research work and his research area i have all that i need now i want to go and sit down and draft a warm mail a letter of interest if you like to him to the email he provided now the age of ai has um given me um, the means to get at least a sample draft of what would look very strong. So before I go to begin to draft mine, um, I can either draft mine first, then 
go to chat gpt and make this prompt i would want to um, detail all that i know about uh, professor antonio myra i would want to say that he has advertised um, a fully funded PhD position in hydrology in his research group at Walter College of Engineering. And um, I need to mention that I have gone to Google Scholar as part of my prompt. Then I also need to mention um, who I am. I have um, a BSc uh, in geology with interest in all of that. Then I make my request that I want um, this model, the chat GPT, to write for me a sample one mail for this um, position. And there you go, I hit on go, and chat GPT is gonna give me um, a sample mail, a sample one mail for uh, this position. I could uh, copy out this sample one mail and go to Word document and begin to edit all of it. Now, this also can um, happen inside your email. Yes, there is now um, chat GPT extension for drafting mail. You could also just put this um, um, prompt in your, in your mail and it will draft all of that for you. Now, from what I have here, it has given me a very strong sample um, warm mail. I could just pick it up and edit to fit what I am looking at and what I want to achieve with the professor. And there you go, I have my email. I can forward to him to win that position. That is how you um, send a warm mail. And the age of AI has made so many things um, easier and uh, possible. Now, I know some of you may have um, issues with um, the question, is this not um, plagiarism? No, I don't think it is because you have only used this to get a sample. You have, the, the purpose of AI is to make um, a number of things we do crudely easier. And so if this, you use this just for um, a, a sample of your work, uh, of what you want to actually write because the way this is it has given you a very clear cut sample on what you would put together you already have done your research so just look at what it has it has given you and you uh, go ahead to apply for that position another way to do this is to make your own draft then copy your draft into um, the prompt box and provide the information you know about um, the advertiser and hit on the prompt it would look at your own your your draft criticize the draft and perhaps if the prompts are right give you um an alternate uh, mail or alternate draft to what you already have as we um get into the application window this year try to learn how to use the several AI uh, model to optimize your essays and the drafts you make. This is just one of such videos I have used to teach you how to use ChatGPT, how to research a professor who has made um, an open position on any social media and how to win positions with very strong um, emails, cold mails and warm mails. Don't forget to subscribe to this um, channel for daily tips on graduate school and AI models.